Alliance Real Estate People. Visit alliance.mt. Hi. Hello. My name is Alessandro. I'm the founder of Brisby. We are seeking 190,000 euros in exchange for 10% of our company. Allow me to take my jacket off. It's hot. The It's nice ways to use it. But I have a better idea actually to make use of a surfboard by generating passive income. And this equipment is sitting idle in my garage, collecting dust, and it could actually generate passive income as well. Also, we know that you know, there are people who might be interested in having this really nice rower, but they can't afford to buy such an expensive piece of equipment not to mention that it's bulky, it's taking loads of room in our house. So they don't rent it or they don't buy it for the simple reason that they can't afford it, nor they have space in their house. Plus, they use it three days a month in average, something that we tend to forget. And here comes Brisby. Brisby is the first of its kind within the sharing economy industry to bring together fitness and action sports and make fitness and action sports readily available for people who need to access lifestyle. Now, um, it's a two-sided marketplace. So we have renters and owners. And who are the renters on Brisby? Renters are uh, fitness lovers and jingoers and occasional jingoers and people who are not stepping into gyms for the simple reason that they don't have time, it's too far, uh, body conscious. Hence, we think that at Brisby, we want to allow people to access a more convenient, easy, safe and diverse way to stay active and access new ways for lifestyle, active lifestyle. And who are the uh, owners or vendors on the platform on Brisby? We have individuals, as I said, one, one is myself, who has loads of gym equipment or action sports equipment that just want to rent it out. So we are actually really bringing together multiple and multifaceted side of the marketplace and different actors. So we have active vendors and active uh, renters or participants to the platform. Now, at Brisby, as I said, we try to solve a problem and the problem is the way we access fitness and action sport. By doing so, we had an eye on the environment because if we make use of sustainability, if we make use of stuff that is actually sitting idle, we just don't fill our landfills with a new equipment. So it's a circular economy. So we launched in 2021, Q2 2021, so at the end of Q2 2021. And just within six months since its launch, since then we have hundreds of vendors registering on the platform. You can see on, I think on your iPad, if you would like to have a look, and coming in from uh, uh, Europe, which is our tier one uh, region that we are uh, testing our MVP and not just, beyond, to our surprise. We have vendors joining regardless because they see the opportunity to make money or regenerate money, especially after the pandemic. So we have vendors from all over Europe, mainly Malta, which is our main market at this point in time, because probably I'm here, but also from Japan, Australia, US, and the rest of Europe, and some from UK. And this is just the beginning. We are at a very initial phase of generating revenues. This is very important because 
We plan to have 12 months of growing the marketplace from the supply side, and after that, launching across uh, Europe, addressing the demand side of the marketplace. But Malta, we're kind of ready. So the first very initial revenues are coming in, just in six months. This is our idea. How do you feel like about that? I'm a little bit concerned Please. because for me, having a look at uh, the market, um, you're valuing at 1.9 million. Yeah. I guess so we've probably got about 40 gyms in this country with about 20 pieces of gym equipment each. I think the total value of all the gym equipments in Malta is your valuation of your business. So I think that your initial starting point is an incredible valuation. Um, I also think that these pieces of equipment are extremely heavy and not easy to move around. Now, I have a lot of gym equipment that I need to get rid of. And, um, you know, I have, you know, we want to move around a piece of gym in my gym at where we are. That piece of equipment, to take it out of my place, to move it to somewhere else, it's going to take a lot of disassembly, a lot of assembly. It's not easy. So I am trying to work out, number one, where the valuation comes from. Number two, how practical is this to actually enable it? And number three, you know, why you need 190,000 euros? So if you could let us know. Sure, start from the first question. Thanks for asking because it allows me to elaborate. First and foremost, the evaluation comes from, I'm sure you know, Cedars. Cedars is the main crowdfunding platform in the UK, which we are in conversation with. They have uh, sat down with us and basically they draw down an evaluation using scorecard method and Berkus method, the most probably well-known method to evaluate pre-money startup. Our evaluation was like, they said actually with 1.9, we are actually leaving on the table 700 to 1 million GDP in evaluation according to the total addressable market and actually the market research that we have saying that there's going to be an increase, an incredible increase in rental, especially for fitness and extra sports. Secondly, that's a great question about transportation. Now, we know that not all gym equipment is bulky, technically. We have other type of equipment and action sports is normally practiced locally. So you go on spots or actually you carry it and practice whatever you need to practice. But moving, for instance, a rower, which is like, you know, a bulky equipment, sometimes heavy, we are dealing already and speaking to one, I can't really say the name, but one of the main uh, sharing economy marketplace for movers in Europe in order to enable our platform to basically have this, the, it's called couch surfing or uh, movers, basically. Uh, from A to B, and from B back to A. What are you using the money for, the 190,000? What do we use? The money for. You're right. Uh, the proceeding will be marketing, especially to drive in demand, and technology. To answer your question about gyms, and this comes in the technology, we are actually planning, uh, given our latest data research, marketing research that we had from UK, coming from the UK. Many people during the pandemic invested loads of time and money actually to build their own garage. How many pieces have you rented already? Right now. We just started the first very initial revenues right now in February. Okay, so what, what have your revenues been so far? Our revenues, initial, so we're talking about hundreds. We started so in February. In hundreds of euros. A hundreds of we euros. We just started now. I'm, 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 I'm struggling with my mask. Yes. I, I'm a gym goer, a gym goer myself. You know, I've, I've been guilty of paying for memberships and not really <laughs> utilizing them to the maximum. But say, let's for example, say I need um, uh, a rowing machine, right? Yes. Uh, how does it work? So I go on your website, I identify that um, Mark has a rowing machine. Yes. 
someone, maybe a third party, delivers it to me, I suppose there would be a delivery charge, right, for that? Yes. Um, it's, is it, do I rent it for the day? Do I rent it for a month? Do, That's how a does great it question. It's based on the vendor. It's, imagine Airbnb. You have an apartment, you decide for how long you want to rent it for. You have a calendar and you decide that that day is not available, the other day is available. Same goes with the gym equipment or action sports. This is movable stuff. Yes. I'm trying to, I can already you know, imagine Mark chasing me to, for his bicycle back. Maybe I'm busy, <laughs> exactly. I can give it back. Um, conceptually, I really, I really struggle to, 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 to see how this can work. I've got, I've got, listen, I have, this, I have this problem today. Yes. I have a beautiful gym and I've decided to restructure it because I don't like the structure. Yes. I have a beautiful piece of gym equipment that's probably cost me 4,000 euros. Yeah. Now, if I want to rent that out, it's a kind of a bench press machine, like a, a Scott Press. But, you know, for me, I would have to go and store that while I was waiting to rent it. My cost of storage would probably cost me more than the cost of what I'm going to get by renting it, then I have to get it delivered each time, each way. It's just ludicrous. It's just, for me, I'm out. I mean, I've not seen there's any way that this can work physically. It's an impossibility to have this stuff moved around. I'm out. Guys. What are we talking, Alessandro, what are we talking about costs to have an idea? And where is the profit being done? Profit is like we take a 20% commission from the transaction. And an idea, let's talk about a heavy equipment, piece of equipment, let's talk about, yes. I don't know, a cycling machine or... Yeah. What would that rent for, just to have an idea? Where, where As I said, it really depends on the vendors. So if I am a vendor or an owner of this gym equipment and I value this like for 50 euros a month, our cut is 20%. We don't take uh, other commission surcharges and so on. You have something else which worries me when you're talking about the heavy stuff. It's one thing, but the easy movable stuff can be also be stolen very easily. Fraud, too. it's open. You know, so fraud, fraud is yes, very okay. worrying me. I'm paying, I want a surfboard, I'm paying 20 euros or per day. And never seen catch you. me if you can, then, you know what I mean? I am, um, I, the idea of peer to peer um, uh, sale, selling uh, appeals to me. I just think that gym equipment, sports equipment, is not something that will work. So. I'm, I'm out. Okay. Thank you. Alessandro, I think you have a good concept when it comes to sharing up and the industry of the sharing up. It's, it's quite innovative and makes a lot of sense. The only thing that I'm not really um, seeing um, is the operations and the logistic aspect of it. So it's a little bit complex. Um, maybe you can you know, analyze it better and see how you can work around that. For that reason, I also would say I'm, I'm out. But good luck. Thank you. I think it's a bit um, too early. Um, we haven't seen any numbers for you to be asking for that amount of money. So for that reason, I'm out. I'm okay. sorry. Alessandro, you have a great idea. I like the concept. It could make sense. I am very, very worried on how you're going to be moving. The, that is one of the largest questions, yes. and where the real profit is going to be done, because if you're renting, you know, from 50 euros, you're making 20%, 10 euros here, 10 euros there. I mean, to get a return on investment on something yes. like this, you have to get down, really work on the numbers to see the profitability of the... Fair enough. Good luck, Thank Alessandro. You. Thank okay. you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. So the thing is, we're going to sell her stuff, then we're going to Are you going to keep all the stuff? I mean, they are the point, and we are working towards solving the problem. I do believe that probably they saw just one side, and probably they stuck to that, but yeah.